the Bible is not a book of names. If you want to know the name of the man who asked Aaron to make an idol, are you not more interested in the name of the wife of Apostle Peter? It is not named in the Bible, the wife of Peter. Neither the mother-in-law of Peter. None of the daughter of Adam was named in the Bible. The only one named are those sons of Adam and Eve. The first was Cain, then Abel, then Seth, etc. But not one daughter of Adam and Eve was named. So the Bible is not a book of names. If you judge the Bible about names, therefore the Bible will be wanting. There are so many persons in the Bible not named. Their names were not mentioned. And if you are interested in knowing the name of that their devil, which you call their devil, are you not interested in knowing the name of the very wife of the Apostle Peter, one of the greatest apostles of Christ. Surely, his wife merits to be named if the intention of the Bible is to teach names. But there are names, important as they are, they were not mentioned in the Bible. Even the daughter of Pharaoh, which kept Moses as her own child, was not named in the Bible. In the Ten Commandments, she was called uh, Bithia. But in the Bible, there is no name given. So the Bible is not a book of names. Do not rely on the Ten Commandments made by men, the movie. There are so many errors in that movie. Because in that movie, when the Egyptians that are pursuing the Israelites crossed the Red Sea, they were drowned. But Pharaoh was not drowned. But in the Bible, even Pharaoh was drowned. Let us read in the book of Psalms 106 verse 9. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. No one of them was left. Everybody was drowned in the water according to the book of Psalms. But in the Ten Commandments, Pharaoh was not drowned. The Bible tells us that there was none of them left. In another verse, let us read 136 verse 15 of the book of Psalms. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. He overthrew Pharaoh and his host In the Red Sea, for his mercy endured it forever. He overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea. Now, going back to 11, let us read. And the waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. None of them was left. They were overthrown in the Red Sea, including Pharaoh. So you cannot trust the Ten Commandments as a movie to be telling us the whole truth. They made it as a movie. It is a very nice movie. It cannot be used as basis in the truth. Many of the circumstances there in that movie are not true, are not correct. Now let us go to the Bible so that you will not be misled. Let us read 32.1 of the book of Exodus. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron 
and said unto him, Up, make us gods which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we know not what is become of him. I will read it again. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron. So uh, there are many. It's not only one person. And said unto him, unto Aaron, Up, make us. Who said, oh, there were many. Now you are looking for the name. There were many. You base your question from the Ten Commandments and you are interested in the name of that dear devil. If you are interested, I am not. Because there are many of them. 